Nikola Tesla quotes, If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own, of all things. I like books best. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena. It will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly. But one can think deeply and be quite insane. Be alone. That is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is when ideas are born. The present is theirs. The future, for which I really worked, is mine. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. What we now want is closer contact and better understanding between individuals and communities all over the earth. And the elimination of egoism and pride which is always prone to plunge the world into primeval barbarism and strife. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. Everyone should consider his body as a priceless gift from one whom he loves above all. A marvelous work of art, of indescribable beauty, and mystery beyond human conception, and so delicate that a word, a breath, a look, nay, a thought may injure it. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. Life is and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution, but it contains certain known factors. We crave for new sensations but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences, what one man calls God. Another calls the laws of physics. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world. The harnessing of human nature to human needs. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments. And they wander off through equation after equation. And eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. The individual is ephemeral. Races and nations come and pass away. But man remains. You may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have, undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction, or any other willful effort of the brain, is futile. It's not the love you make, it's the love you give.
Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. Most certainly, some planets are not inhabited, but others are, and among these there must exist life under all conditions and phases of development. So astounding are the facts in this connection that it would seem as though the Creator himself had electrically designed this planet. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment and merging of races. And we are still far from this blissful realization. Great moments are born great opportunity. As I review the events of my past life I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. It is not in the shallow physical imitation of men that women will assert first their equality and later their superiority. But in the awakening of the intellect of women, there is something within me that might be illusion as it is often case with young delighted people. But if I would be fortunate to achieve some of my ideals, it would be on the behalf of the whole of humanity. We are all one. Only egos, beliefs, and fears separate us. When natural inclination develops into a passionate desire, one advances towards his goal in seven league boots. A new idea must not be judged by its immediate results. One's salvation could only be brought about through his own efforts. The idea of atomic energy is illusionary but it has taken so powerful a hold on the minds. That although I have preached against it for 25 years, there are still some who believe it to be realizable. Science is but a perversion of itself unless it has as its ultimate goal the betterment of humanity. To know each other we must reach beyond the sphere of our sense perceptions. The hard work of the future will be pushing buttons, these are only new devices for putting the weak at the mercy of the strong. Instinct is something which transcends knowledge, we should effect a radical reform in the character of the food. It will soon be possible to transmit wireless messages around the world so simply that any individual can carry and operate his own apparatus. The desire that guides me in all I do is the desire to harness the forces of nature to the service of mankind. Anti-social behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists. Our senses enable us to perceive only a minute portion of the outside world. 